Lydia here and welcome back to a new flea market haul on my channel. So I know that it has been uh, quite some time since I did my last flea market haul video and I'm sorry about that. It's just that every time I went to the flea market I barely find anything so I just thought that I should wait and let the stuff pile up a little bit so that I can show you all the stuff uh, in just one video and it's way easier that way. And uh, it's I don't know it's more, a little bit more uh, entertaining for you guys so uh, I did this for you and uh, now I just thought that okay all the stuff has piled up and I should uh, finally do the uh, whole video or the review of the flea market um, finds and yeah so I'm going to start off with uh, my uh, probably my most favorite uh, pieces that I got on the flea market and these are some monster high dolls and lately there has been I don't know a, quite a, a few monster high dolls that ha have been uh, thrown out to the flea market and I'm just really happy about that because this way they are just really really cheap and I don't know they are just good material for customizing and now since the reboot is already out in the stores and you know I don't like the reboot at all so it's just really uh, fun uh, to get some of the older dolls this way and to be able to customize them. So I didn't find all of these dolls at once. I uh, found them at, uh, you know, every week when I went there I found, uh, first I found two and then one and then another two. So that's how I got them. And uh, they were in different uh, prices. Uh, I think the most expensive one that I got w was about three dollars. So, again, really awesome price for these dolls. And the cheapest was probably I don't know. I don't think it was uh, fifty cent. So, yeah, it was really really cheap. I don't know. So, that's really awesome. Okay, so uh, first up, I'm going to show you the two that I got. Uh, the first week, I don't know when it was actually exactly, but doesn't really matter. So this is um, the Ghoul Spirit, I think that was the line, uh, line's name, uh, Ghoul Spirit uh, Frankie. And she's in a awesome condition, she has no flaws actually, and um, her hair is in great condition, although it's a little bit uh, frizzy because you know that material that her hair is made of, it's, it gets really um, uh, frizzy and when you touch it, you know, it, it gets all electric, <laughs> which fits her, by the way. So you can see that she has her outfit, although her skirt is a little bit uh, more uh, lighter colored in the front, I guess that's because she was somewhere um, where the sun was getting to her and the sun just uh, bleached the color from her skirt. But uh, that's okay, and I think it did the same with the sleeves of her um, top, but that's okay. She has uh, both of her earrings and her bracelet as well, so that's really awesome. One thing she's missing, unfortunately, it's one of her uh, shoes, uh, the half of her shoe. And I don't know if I will be able to get that online, I, I'm pretty sure I will be, it's just that uh, I don't you know, it probably will cost me more to get it and to ship it to me than the actual doll. So I, I'm not sure I may pass that thing. Because to me, it doesn't really matter if she has her clothes or not. Because as I said before, I'm going to customize her and all of the dolls that I get on the flea market anyway. So I'm just going to keep the clothes just, I don't know, for fun. <laughs> and maybe for uh, dress up later. So yeah, this one was the Goose Pit Frankie, and another doll where I uh, got uh, the Frankie, by the way, the Frankie was uh, about $3, and this Draculaura, and she was, again, uh, $3, and this is the from the Freaky Fusion uh, Save Frankie budget line, good old times when the Monster High budget dolls actually had full articulation and awesome clothes. <laughs> So she is in awesome condition, again she has everything, and I really mean everything, she has both of her shoes, her uh, uh, outfit, and by the way this one is not bleached by the sun, so it's all good. Uh, she has her bracelets, her earrings, her hair is in not bad condition, it's a little bit frizzy, but that's okay. 
And yes, so she is a really beautiful doll. By the way, none of them have actually uh, wonky eyes, which is uh, pretty surprising. And yeah, so she's just missing that sign thingy that she came with originally. You know, the sign for say Frankie, but I don't mind. So yeah, she is in awesome condition and yeah, so she's going to be customized as well. Now, uh, the next two dolls that I got were, as I said before, really, really cheap. They weren't even like 50 cents, which is awesome. And they have flaws, so I guess that's understandable, but still. So one of them is a Laguna doll. And this one was uh, the Ghoul's Night Out. Yes, the Ghoul's Night Out Laguna. And she's really pretty. Again, her face is just gorgeous. Um, she has kind of some kind of a black uh, dirt mark here on her front head which I wasn't able to clean I have uh, by the way I have uh, washed her hair with, and uh, conditioned because it was a little bit uh, tangled and frizzy but it's now all okay it's beautiful it does have a little bit of a glue seepage problem but that's okay but she is really gorgeous she does not have again no wonky eyes and uh, she has her full outfit which is pretty awesome, even her necklace. And uh, the she she is missing her shoes and her fins and um, her hands and or lower arms and hands. And that's the probably the biggest problem that I have with this all. And uh, she has kind of this really loose legs. I don't know if you can see that. So it's there. You can see that it just flips back there. So. She has kind of like a, I don't know what, what's it called, it's, it's really loose, but I don't know, that's okay. Uh, I will probably have to order some hands for her, or lower arms and hands, and uh, I don't mind if they are not particularly for Laguna, because again, she is going to be customized, repainted, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, for, I don't know, it was, I have no idea how much would it cost to um, convert the amount to uh, US dollars, but I guess it, I could say it, it was about 10 cents or something, so it was really really cheap. And she has her outfit, so come on, she has her belt and, and everything, so and she's really pretty. So the only thing that I have uh, the problem I have with her is that she's missing her arm, so otherwise, she's a great. Um, great uh, customizing material so yeah that's really awesome now the next doll that I got where I got this Laguna again for the same uh, amount of money was the Freak du Chic uh, Claudine Wolf and she's really pretty she does have a little bit of a wonky eye but that's okay I'm going to repaint her anyway and sh her hair is really gorgeous it was again a little bit tangled but I gave her a good wash and uh, some conditioning and now it's it's uh, really nice. Uh, now, she does have a more uh, serious problem, and I don't know if you can see that, but hopefully you can. She's missing her uh, lower uh, feet or uh, leg, and uh, that's a little bit more serious problem. Although she do has both of her hands, which are you know painted black because she was wearing gloves, and she has this one of her bracelets. She is missing her outfit and any other accessory, but I'm fine with that. Uh, so what I'm going to do with this um, black problem, I'm probably going to create a, an OC that is missing one of her legs, and she is probably in a wheelchair, which is, I think it's pretty cool because I did want uh, to make a, an OC uh, who is missing her uh, lower uh, her leg or that she's in wheelchair, so this, is, this will be a great uh, uh, material or base for that. Uh, I'm probably going to exchange her head with another head because I don't want that also to be a, a wolf or a dog or whatever with these ears so I'm going to probably exchange this head with another head but otherwise again for that amount of money it's a great um, um, customization material or custom material or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and the last Monster High doll that I got, uh, it was quite recently, I think it was about two weeks ago. It's this uh, Buyork Buyork um, Draculaura. Uh, I can't remember the 
subtitle of this line. Uh, it was the budget line for uh, the ghouls that uh, went to New York. And she is awesome. She is in awesome condition. Uh, she has a little bit of a wonky eye, but that was uh, to be expected, you know, lately in the last years. This wonky eye problem was becoming more common. But otherwise, she has everything. She has her shoes, she has her dress, her uh, uh, sunglasses, and those were still attached to her head, so I, I had to remove the um, elastic piece. And the only thing she's missing is her uh, purse, but that's okay. And she has her hands, and which are the pointy hands when it's not just like spread out uh, fingers when she's pointing and I really really love that um, because it's more rare than the usual hands and so yeah as I said before otherwise that uh, that wonky eye she is perfect her hair is perfect everything so I'm just really really happy and she was really cheap as well I think it was one dollar so yeah another good uh, material for customization and yeah so that's about it for the monster high dolls now I will move on to other stuff. So uh, first off, uh, it's this centaur uh, figure, figurine, and it's quite big as you can see. Some of you may recognize it uh, from Harry Potter, and I didn't know it was from Harry Potter because I'm not a fan. I don't like the books or the movie. It's not my type of thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> And I didn't know that he was from Harry Potter, I just, uh, after that, when I bought it, I found out uh, from the Google, from the internet. But I just bought it because I thought it was really, really cool. He is articulated in the arms and in his uh, upper body and the legs. And actually there's a button uh, on his stomach. And when you push it, his legs kind of, kind of move. You can move his... Uh, hind legs and he has this awesome um, crossbow I think that's what it's called a crossbow and yeah so some cat fur <laughs> and uh, yeah so he's really really cool and uh, I don't really like his face up it, he looks weird I don't know if he has this weird eyes in the movie uh, but I will probably repaint it or repaint the whole figure I'm not sure yet or repaint some details on it I don't know I will probably uh, paint some details on the crossbow because it's just simple, plain, uh, one color. And he has some chest hair in the front too and those are not colored as well. So I will probably repaint um, probably his eyes as well, I don't know. And uh, I just bought it because I thought it was really cool and it would fit in my weird figurines collection. Which I have, and uh, yeah, so that's why I bought it. Okay, so moving on with the figurines, uh, I have also found some uh, smaller stuff, and well, actually, it's not that small. <laughs> um, these are uh, some, I believe, these are from the game uh, Plants vs. Monsters, uh, not monsters, uh, zombies, and I think that these figures are actually fake. Uh, judging from the how they are uh, painted and it's just all I don't know it's, it looks really um, unprofessional and messy and besides that they don't have any kind of marks on them you know saying like they were made by some I don't know some kind of um, oops this one still has some water in it since I washed it when I uh, got home from the flea market uh, and that was quite a long time ago, about two weeks ago, and it still has water in it. That's that's amazing. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, it doesn't have any kind of marks on them, uh, like a trademark or, or something. And uh, I believe that they are fake. Uh, and you know, uh, Chinese fakies, uh, they tend to only have uh, the writing on them that says made in China or they have nothing and which is the case with this one and they are quite light and I said as I said before they are uh, uh, pretty um, plain and badly painted I guess the molds are cool though so 
why I got them is because I'm not a fan of this game. I don't know anything about this game actually. But I just thought that the moles were pretty cool and since they are zombies, you know, I'm, I really like monsters. I just thought that I should grab them. They were uh, cheap. And uh, I should try and maybe repaint them into a more, uh, little bit more gruesome zombies because they have potential. I mean, I mean, I really like the molds. It's just that the paint it's boring. So yeah, I will probably repaint them and I'll see what I end up uh, doing with them and how they look. Okay. So uh, some water. Uh, the next up is um, this one, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you recognizes this thing. It's a Tokidoki Unicorn, and I was just really, really surprised to find something like this because I didn't know that in Europe they are selling Tokidoki um, merchandise or anything, but they are not selling here it in Romania, so yeah, I was really surprised. and. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one is a blind bag one from uh, those Tokidoki blind bags. I have absolutely no idea from which series because I know that they were that there were a lot of series released already. Uh, I just really really like them. And the fun thing about this one, where I found that it was a big pile of um, toys, and I was uh, searching around and I only found her body because the head was broken off. So. I found the body and I recognized that it was from a unicorn and I was searching around and I found the head and I was really really happy. You know, it was broken but still it was a Tokidoki unicorn which I have never seen before in my life. And it was a good thing too that it was broken because I got a discount on it. It was kind of, um, well it's not, it wasn't expensive. But it was more expensive than usually the stuff I get on the flea market. But since it was broken, I got a little bit of a discount, so <laughs> I'm really, really happy. Then I got home and I, I glued her head back and it's all okay now, so I'm just really happy. Uh, she's missing one of her earrings, but that's okay. And uh, yeah, so she's really cute. I have no idea what's the name of this one. So if you do, please leave a comment down below and tell me what, what's her name and what series is she from. Because I will let you know, but uh, yeah, so it says Toki Doki on the bottom, so yeah, it's a unicorn. No? So it's really cool. Uh, moving on, I have found some smaller stuff. Um, first off, is this little LPS monkey. I don't know, he's kind of um, um, had some better days, <laughs> especially his face. It's all, I don't know, it has some scratch marks and the paint has chipped off at some points. But I just, I don't know, I, I felt sort of sorry for the little guy, so I just grabbed him and I will put him in my LPS collection. You know, I don't really collect the LPS anymore, but if I find some on the flea market and they are cheap, why not? Um, there's also this little um, bunny, which is from, uh, since I found out uh, they are uh, from uh, the um, puppy in my pocket, little blind bag thing is or I don't know if they are blind bags actually. I just really like it. I have uh, also a little crocodile from si from this series and it's full of cat fur so my cat must have been um, I don't know <laughs> lurking around it. Um, so yeah um, I just think they are really really cute and as I said before I also have a crocodile from, si from this series and I like that they have a little color, it's like, you know, they are really pets of someone, so I usually use them as uh, pets for my monster hiosis. So yeah, and she's really cute. Um, I have found also some more little stuff. Um, one of the little trashies, I think this is a little squirrel, maybe? And this little apple that's made of some kind of, uh, I think it's made of iron or something because it's really really heavy. It's a golden apple and it, there's a little worm in it. I just thought that it would uh, go well as an accessory or something for a monster high or any other kind of doll, which is really uh, interesting. And I have also found a few 
Kinder surprise figures. I have lately I have uh, trouble finding Kinder figures, which is kind of annoying because you know I'm a collector and uh, I don't know they just kind of disappeared from the free market. And you can I'm not going to go into their details, so you can see a picture on the screen right now and uh, see the ones that I have found. Some of them are missing a few little bits and pieces, but that's okay. That's the usual thing. And uh, back to some uh, bigger figures. I have found um, some Pokemon figures and well as a Digimon. And so this is the Digimon. Um, I have absolutely no idea what his name is and I didn't grab this for myself. I grabbed this for a friend of mine who uh, doesn't live here in Romania and uh, he's a big Digimon fan so this will go to him eventually and uh, the three others are Pokemon uh, so I found a Psyduck and he's really cute uh, he is from Nintendo uh, 99, 1999 so <laughs> a long time ago he came out a long time ago uh, the other one is a Celebi and this one is from 2010 so it's a newer figure and uh, the last one is again from 2010 and it's uh, one of the legendary uh, dogs and I believe his name is Suikun I, I, I have no idea how to pronounce it but uh, it's pretty cool so yeah those are the figurines that I got and uh, now I have some plushies as well I just dropped one of them so this one is from the secret life of house pets or pets I'm not sure what the name of that movie is I, I, I can't remember but uh, this one is the little uh, parrot and I believe his name was Sweet Pea yes yeah, so this is a McDonald's toy and the other one is from the same series and this is the big dog uh, Duke one of the main characters and both are, are from McDonald's so yeah and these two my collection I think I need uh, two or three more plushies from this collection to complete it so hopefully I will be able to find them eventually uh, now the next one is a uh, beautiful beautiful um, statue and this is a dragon as you can see he's on this uh, I don't know it's like a mountain top or maybe in a cave I guess it's more like a cave because it has all these crystals around it which are kind of see-through and he's guarding some um, um, treasures there some coins and uh, pearls and whatever and he's really really cool is he's got this uh, magenta reddish magenta color with gold and the really cool thing about this uh, statue is that his wings are on uh, glued on some springs and that way he can actually move his wings so if I do that wobble him he looks like he's moving his wings and it's more realistic I don't know if original that was how it was made or it got broken and somebody figured without that they should do this and make it more cooler I don't know but it was a great idea if they did that and uh, the only flaw that this figure has is that his tail was broken off and I guess his tail was probably sticking out from here because you can see that there is a gap or an opening um, but I think I will be able to fix that, I'm not sure yet, or somehow maybe just paint it and hide it. And yeah, so it's a cool little uh, addition to my uh, statue statues collection of all uh, dragons and uh, other weird <laughs> stuff. So yeah, I just really, really like it. Now, uh, on to the bear family uh, stuff. Well some of you who watches my videos know that I'm a bear family uh, little figure collector 
They are like Sylvanian families or Kaleko critters, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they are a little bit bigger and they came out a long time ago. So, well, this one is not actually a bear family figure, it's a Nietzsche figure. But I just think that they are pretty similar and uh, uh, and they are the same size, so I usually if I find one of these uh, Nietzsche figures, I grab them and put them next to uh, my bear family figures. So this is a little bird and he has this crazy uh, hair and it's really, he's really really cute. Um, he is going to school, I guess, because he has this cute little blue backpack and cute little pants and everything, so he's really really cute. I don't know what kind of bird he is, but he's, regardless, he's really cute. And uh, you can actually move, because he's on a wire structure, you can actually move his hands and feet and all that. So he's not jointed, he's on a wire structure. So yeah, he's going to into my uh, collection. And speaking of bear family collection, I have found some furniture for them, which really surprised me because I didn't know that they came with or that they had uh, some furniture released for them. So I actually find a little diner set. It has some little um, chairs. Uh, there are actually four of them. And they all have the little Bear Family uh, logo. Bear Family, or in German, they were Bärenwald, which means bear wood. Um, have their logo, uh, there's a little sticker on there. So the four chairs, and there's a um, table as well, which is really, really cute. And it's really in a good, awesome, I mean, not good, it's, it's in awesome condition, it's like brand new. Uh, in the box where I found these, there were um, several more little pieces, like drawers and stuff like that, but everything was... And uh, there was also the um, some pieces of a bed, but there wasn't the full bed and the drawer was missing uh, the actual thingy, so <laughs> I just didn't grab those. I, I have not... I can't do anything with them if they are not complete and I'm not really good at crafting so yeah I just keep those and just grab these uh, four chairs and the table and after I grabbed these it was a really interesting um, uh, I don't know uh, thing that happened because after I grabbed these uh, soon I found some huge houses for them and uh, well first when I saw those I was like, wow, they actually came out with houses for them. And I thought that they were, would be really expensive. But when I asked the seller, she there were actually two houses. And I will show, you, show them to you in just a second. And when I asked the seller uh, the price, she said the price, which was, I don't know, $5 a piece. But she said that I can grab the two for uh, a, like a deal for uh, I don't know I'm trying to convert the amount in my head um, I don't know for three dollar fifty well not really um, for around four dollars or something like that I, I can't really convert it in my head it's it's just small amounts but uh, yeah so <laughs> I got a great deal on them and I was really really surprised so here is and it's kind of heavy one of them and this is again a full of cat fur my cat just stick his nose sticks his nose in everything he finds <laughs> so uh, I have to clean it again uh, this is a Berenwald house as you can see it's from Germany and uh, it's a house and it looks really cool and it's all made of wood, so it's not plastic like in today's how they make toys and stuff for toys because they use plastic, it's much cheaper. This is actual wood and it's actual, um, it's uh, painted and it has, uh, I don't know how to explain it, it's just really really well made. Uh, it's kind of heavy as well because of that and uh, 
you can see that there's a little window in the front and it has some cute um, curtains which have uh, some uh, hearts on them and it's a pretty wide space and this part here in the front it, it's not missing it's made this way so that you can you know play inside with the little figurines you have and it also has a chimney so it's really really awesome so that was the first house and the second one is not really a house it's more like a train station and I just think that this is again really really cool it's big but it's not as tall as the house and it has all the little um, I don't know uh, spaces and, and everything so that you can actually play like where they get their tickets and, and stuff like that so it's really really cool again full of cat fur thanks to my cat um, so yeah it has some little posters inside like the timetable and everything so it's, it's really really cool and again made of hard wood painted and it's just all in Austin and both of them are actually in awesome condition even if they are really really old so I was really surprised and I got them at a good deal so yeah <laughs> and uh, now they are currently hanging on the floor because uh, I still have to make um, a little bit of a cleaning in my room and I have to make some space for them where to um, actually display my Bear Family um, collection and uh, the collection with the houses. So I have to make some room for them and uh, move some stuff around. So until then they are hanging on the floor and that's why they are full of cat fur. And yeah, so that's about it for the stuff that I found on the flea market. Now I went to a thrift store uh, nearby that uh, only carries toys. And um, I, I have to say that I really like the stuff that they have there, but it's really, really expensive. It's way expensive than the stuff I found, find on, on the flea market. And I get it, they are, I can't say that they are better quality because it's kind of like the same, but uh, they are uh, in better sh better shape, I guess I can say that in better uh, condition. And uh, that's why they are more expensive and I don't know, I just don't like to spend that much on them since I can probably find this stuff on the flea market for cheaper or, you know, not the same stuff, but... Yeah, so I rarely go there because you know I don't want to see the stuff on the shelves and don't get it and do not get them because you know I'm a collector. I just just love to grab everything that I like, and I just try to avoid it for the sake of my um, of my uh, what do you call it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> for the sake of my uh, handbag <laughs> when I carry my money so uh, my purse I don't know I, I just brain fart I, I just got up this morning and I, I just can't think so yeah for the sake of my money <laughs> so that I don't have to spend a fortune there but I just went there and I grabbed three little items so one of them, this I couldn't pass, it's a little uh, palace pet uh, kitty and she's in awesome condition, although she is missing her crown, which is a bummer, but that's okay. And I'm pretty sure she's Cinderella's cat, judging from the colors that uh, she has on her, the light blue and pink. So she's really, really cute and uh, this is the second palace pet that I found. Uh, the other one I had and I'm pretty sure I, sh I showed it to you guys in a previous uh, flea market haul it was uh, another cat and that was Rap uh, Rapunzel's so yeah she's really cute and the other two things that I found I grabbed these because I thought that they were really cool are these two little dinosaurs in these uh, water containers and if you move them they are like moving around because they have some articulation in their feet, tails and mouth as well. 
So one of them is a Velociraptor and the other one is a T-Rex. And when I first found these, I thought that they were uh, pretty cool and cute and I had no idea when I'm going to display them, by the way. And um, first, I thought that these were from... Uh, or ha they had to do to something with some toy related to uh, Jurassic Park, because dinosaurs. But I got home and I did a little bit of a search and I found out that these are... this came out uh, 10 years ago, 10 years, and the water is still in there, so that's a big wow. Uh, I thought that until now they, the water would have just begun from them. So I'm really, really surprised and happy that it has still has the water. And uh, I found out that these things are called biobites, and uh, it was like a, I don't know, it was like a little game, so you had to purchase a little like a thing that looks like a game console but it's smaller uh, it reminds me of Tamagotchi but it's bigger than Tamagotchi so yeah and these things you have to uh, actually attach it has these weird little bumps on the uh, bottom you have to attach to that game and the little animal that's inside because there were six different ones and they were they were not just dinosaurs they were like uh, I don't know, gorilla and I don't know what else I can't really remember now. You can find them on Google if you do a search. And uh, you have to attach them to that game and this, the animal that you attached uh, appeared on the little screen with, in some pixel um, graphics and you can play, play with that. So I think that that was a pretty cool idea. I have never seen these in my stores, or I just missed them. I don't know what I did 10 years ago, so I may have missed them, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so um, I just think that they are really, really cute and cool, even though if I don't have the game. And um, I just think that it was a cool thing back then, and I don't know how well they did sell and by the way so you purchased uh, the little toy thingy with one of these and you could buy separate animals to play with it so there were some separates and probably these were uh, sold separate because otherwise I, I would have guessed that the little game would have been there in the thrift shop but yeah so yeah that's about it I will stop rambling now <laughs> Uh, it was a pretty long pre-market haul video and I'm sorry about that, but as I said before in the beginning of this video that I will uh, I uh, try to pile things a little bit up so that I can show everything to you guys and not just show one or two stuff. And uh, I'm pretty sure that I have forgot some things to show with you guys that I also got from the flea market in these weeks, but I just forgot because I put them somewhere in the room. <laughs> I had these in a box, so it was more easier to grab them. But uh, yeah, it's it's not biggie, I guess. So yeah, so from now on, I will try to again go to the flea market because I haven't been there in two weeks, and I don't know if I will be able to go this Sunday as well because it's a religious holiday here in Romania. So. The flea market may be closed, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I will try to, again, pile some things up and we'll see what I will be able to find and uh, come back later with another flea market haul video. Until then, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below what is your favorite item from all of these, what do you think of these, and uh, I did ask you a question about that unicorn, so if you know the answer, please leave a comment down below and also subscribe for my channel for more uh, toy and doll related videos and other free market hauls and random stuff so thank you so much for watching bye bye